Yo, what's good with y'all? We have another subscriber requested video. Subscribers. Bleh. The subscriber who requests this video is Mentor PO, someone in my Discord server. Shout out to him. He'd be hell active and stuff. The um suggestion was after 60 seconds of running the game, a model or the player gets teleported to a to a specified position, right? But before I get into that, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. If I sound quiet or chill or like that, it's because it's four in the morning when I'm recording this. But I just want to say thank you guys for helping me reach 400 subscribers. This is officially by the time I'm recording this video, which is Saturday. Y'all are seeing this Tuesday, I think. But but uh, I'm recording this uh, Saturday. Well, it's Sunday now. It's four in the morning, but anyway, and stuff like that. But yeah, type shit. Thank you guys for helping me hit 400 subscribers. We about to be halfway to 1,000. Can't have done it without y'all, and I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being here, type shit. But yeah, let's get straight to the video, though. Alright, so this one is going to be really simple. We can head on over to server script service and insert a server script. We'll call this our teleport script. Boom. Then we will delete this and we will say game.players.player added colon connect function. In parentheses, we'll put plr, which is for player. We will then do local character. We gotta make a variable. Do equals game.workspace wait for child player.name. Then we'll press enter twice. And then we will do character colon move, move, oh sorry, move to, right? Then we will get the position. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna take the position of the spawn right now, then move the spawn so y'all can see that obviously I'm not spawning on him. Then we're gonna do vector three dot new, parentheses, then put the vector coordinates. So pretty much for this, you gotta use vector coordinates, vector three coordinates, so yeah, right? So just to give a brief explanation and stuff like that, when a player joins the game, we make a variable for character so we can reference it right here. And we're using the wait for child built-in function, right? So pretty much it will pause the script until the uh, until the workspace has a child has a child that's name matches the name of the player who just joined, right? So we can go ahead and play and test this. Pretty much, I shouldn't be like normally. I would spawn at the spawn, but as you guys can see, I moved, right? Yeah, because like if I were to say if I were to put a wait 1.5, right? We could test it this way too. I'll see at first I'll spawn at the normal spawn, then wait and boom, there you go, teleports me. So to say do it. Um, you can do this with if you're wondering if you can do this with, with things aside from players. Yes, you can. You would literally just change like the variable in what you're referencing. That's all you would change and stuff like that. You would just put the name of whatever part it, it is, you're, whatever you're searching for, whatever the, the variable name, and then whatever you're moving and stuff like that. You would just change it. The, the whole point is it just has to be a model. That's all that matters. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Mentor, I hope this video was helpful and helpful anyone else who's watching it. If it was, leave a like, subscribe. Um, no idea where our sub count is at now, but let's but let's uh, let's get through this 400, get to 500. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for the love and support, and let's keep it going. Thank y'all for watching, and leave a like and subscribe if this video was helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys.